and welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week we have a really creative aviation project, in case you're interested, something you can build and hang on the wall. Do you like maps? Well, let's take a look at this. We are all familiar with sectional aeronautical maps. You're looking at one here. This is a piece of the state of Florida with Tampa St. Pete in this area. What's interesting about this map is you see little lights, lots of green lights. This is a live, and I stress meaning real-time data almost within 10-15 minutes, of weather reporting information. In other words, every one of these lights represents an airport producing METAR information that is being picked up by the map in almost real time and reporting the flight rules based on the METAR information at those airports. In other words, these marked as green here have VFR information coming from them. In other words, all of the limitations are such that visual flight rules are in effect. Now over here in the blue area we have marginal VFR. I would love to show you an airport that's reporting IFR information. They would be red but at the moment Florida is, has some wonderful weather and we don't have any red right now. And here we've zoomed into the Tampa St. Pete area so that we can see that some sort of condition is in effect right along the coast here. What a creative implementation of technology. This was built as a project and behind this frame map is a small computer, a Raspberry Pi in fact. We're familiar with those computers from other projects we have shown. And that Raspberry Pi computer is picking up Wi-Fi information, picking up the METAR information at each of these airports and determining whether it is visual or IFR type flight rules and changing the color of the light in almost real time. Bad weather in Florida. See if you can find the four different colors. I know it's tough because the video is kind of distorting the colors, but we should find VFR in green and marginal VFR in blue, IFR in red, and low IFR in a magenta type color. Getting rid of the camera, this would look much more true to color. Better weather in Florida is coming. Stay tuned. There are really just a limited number of components you need to obtain in order to build one of these wall hanging live maps. The first is for you to obtain a sectional covering the area you desire to have displayed. And then you need to choose which airports you want to be reporting with the color LED. The only requirement is that the airport supply METAR information. Then you're going to mount the map into a frame and then we're going to drill little holes for the LEDs at each of the airport locations. Now let's take a look at the back of the map and see how this all fits together. We're going to take a walk around to the back side of this map. It was mounted in a frame and looking at the back it's not as complicated as it looks. Basically at the bottom here is the Raspberry Pi computer and of course that needs power so we can plug that in for low voltage supply and then out of the computer comes a single string of LED lights 
that are affixed into the little holes drilled for each of the locations of the airports on the front. And that is it. The rest of the magic comes with the software that you build and place into the computer. Now the computer has Wi-Fi connectivity, so part of that software is to connect with a local Wi-Fi connection so that it can pick up the METAR information updated by the government. That METAR information is parsed and the appropriate color is sent to the LED light. So the trick is find yourself a good computer person that can go put the software into the Raspberry Pi computer and you do all of the other work as far as mounting the sectional, drilling the holes for each of the airports. And of course you can make this as large or as small as you want and choose whatever number of airports you want to report. Now let's provide some credit for this wonderful project. The engineer who designed and wrote the software for this project was Dylan Rush. He was the one I found on the web who seemed to be one of the earlier creators of this. Now, if I'm wrong and someone else should get credit, be sure to leave that name and that information in the comment section following this video. Here is Dylan's public web page where he has provided the source code and additional information on how he put this map together. Now let's meet the builder of the maps that we have been looking at in this video. Okay well I decided that I wanted to do a really neat project for Christmas for both my husband and well, actually a couple different friends as well and I was on the web and I saw this really cool map um, I pretty much put it together. Uh, I got the ideas from everybody else, so I pretty much stole the ideas off of the internet. Um, pretty simple to do if you know, have any computer knowledge. I had to rely on other people's programming skills and that sort of thing and really do a lot of research. Um, Adafruit.com, that's A-D-A-F-R-U-I-T.com, is where I got a lot of great information about the Raspberry Pi. That's actually what drives this. So what I did was I got sectional maps, I laminated it onto a board, drilled holes through it, and then ended up doing a layout of LEDs from behind. Got the LEDs from Amazon. Um, it's the WS2811. So uh, they're the ones that are programmable. I got my power supply from a local surplus store. Uh, I got the Raspberry Pi off of the internet as well. So um, I just made sure that it had wireless because what makes this really cool is it actually connects to the internet and actually gets the downloaded weather information for whatever region you tell it. So um, luckily for me, I didn't really have to have a whole lot of computer knowledge to make this work as long as I had the people to go to that I could ask. Uh, it, was, um, it was a neat project uh, and it was just something that was nice to have around the house. Most important though, don't fly by this map, okay? Because this is just not gonna be something that you wanna plan your flights by because can't guarantee that it's always gonna be 100% accurate, but it's neat to have in the house. So um, it was something that I decided I wanted to do. I wanted to make it myself and frame it however you want, mount it however you want, but really what is the most interesting part is that you can decide what airports you wanna display and uh, it gives you pretty accurate weather information. So I, I enjoy making it, and I enjoy working with my hands, and um, I work as a nurse as a full-time job, and so this kind of stuff is just what I love to do uh, in my free time. Yeah.